I welcome you to the Canto 9 of Nandini Sam's long narrative poem, Sita the Fawn. This canto uh, specifically talks about uh, the animals in Indian mythology. Since the beginning of human history, people have lived in close contact with animals usually as hunters and farmers. But here the case is different. When Sita lived in the Ashok Vatika, she waited for her husband, Lord Ram, to come and rescue her from Ravan. On the other side, Lord Ram created a kind of collaboration, a deep engagement with the animal world. And Canto 9 appreciates that, glorifies that, and talks about the deep connection between Lord Ram and the world of the monkeys. All kind of creatures, from fierce leopards to tiny spiders, play important roles in Indian mythology. A myth can give special meaning or extraordinary qualities to common animals and here to the monkeys. However, the creatures found in myths such as the monsters, the dragons, the unicorns, though they never existed in the real world, but they have been mentioned time and again. Many myths explore relationships between humans and animals. People talk with animals, fight them, sometimes even people marry the animals. Sometimes animals perform services for the humans, including guiding the humans through the underworld or helping them to complete their tasks. One large group of myths involving animal concerns, transformations or changes between human and animal states. There are some myths that focus on the close connection between the flora and fauna, and the Ramayana is one such. In this canto, I will be talking about the collaboration between Lord Ram and the world of the monkeys and many other animals. Now let me recite the Canto 9 for you. Canto 9, Nandini Sahu's long poem, Sita Fuan. When Tapas was my sole credit in Lanka, you met Hanuman, the marvelous monkey in the forest. Hanuman, the Veda Vedanga, Parangata, the scholar of all Vedas, Nava Vyakarana Pandita, expert in the nine schools of Brahma, Buddhimata Vasisht, Varisht, the wittiest, wisest, cleverest, mightiest, and most devoted of Lord Ram. He met you at the command of Sugri, the Vanara king whose throne was usurped by his brother Vali. The saga of your friendship with Vanaras, killing Vali, you restored Sugriva to throne. The Sundarakanda narrates in magnificent miniature human Hanuman's dedication for Siyara by crossing the ocean in search of me. He encountered the sea demonesses and demons like Menaka, Surasa and Simbika, overpowered them and reached me. He narrated in a sing-song voice, sitting on the tree, what you had told him of me. My dark dresses, my comely limbs, as if smeared with raw turmeric, the natural colorium in my eyes, brittle lips, lips, my
my beauty like a gem tied in a worn out cloth my persona like water in freezing winter and like the sacred vedas i heard from him the tales of our courtship our wedding our exile abduction separation and pain overwhelmed hearing ram naam after 10 months i blessed hanuman as if he were my child and gave him my remaining ornaments as token hanuman consoled my bereaved soul in kindest words devi mother sita i cross the sea to find you and give my lord messes my lord's messes and take yours back i am most humbled to think i am of some use to ram sita you are goddess lakshmi incarnate thus you could have burnt lanka and the demon ravan with just one blink but the chaste dignified woman that you are you have left this task to your husband to perform his duty of rescuing protecting his wife may i touch your pious feet mata shedding tears of joy florison i accepted your signet ring from hanuman yes he was right ragupati that woman loves the fortification of her man feel secure with him this is her cipher of chastity the glory of her feminine prosperity hanuman wanted to take me at once to you crossing the hundred yojanas of the sea in one leap but husband dear i wanted you to come and release me i could have waited for two more months and then died but given no other man this credit giving my crest jewel to hanuman to hand it over to my lord i blessed him maruti left with a promise to be back like the golden flame so what happened after that he was caught by the demon o ravan i am the son of wind god the devotee of ram my ultimate order or request is bow to lord ram and mata sita your life will be redeemed the sita whom you have imprisoned is nothing but that dark disbanding perched over lanka ravan's blazing anger knew no bounds to set fire on his tail he issued orders as hanuman's tail end was ablaze he was demolished ram's glory sita's blessing wind god's inheritance made fire abstain from burning him he was released mm-hmm. to my utter surprise and amusement hanuman leapt like a flash over the minarets and palaces monuments and mountains burning the extravagant golden lanka spreading a million stars after destroying half of lanka he dipped his burning tail in the sea and came back to pay his obeisances to me vivishan and the other no- noble souls of lanka came with him then he rose up to the harista mountain to take a leap for his return flight i counted time beneath my fingertips waiting for my lord with a new found hope this episode taught me how to discover abstinence without trailing the current of my myriad hearted transient